Today we have a 2002 Ford F-150 with the 4.2 liter V6. Customer stated that it spits and sputters. Sometimes it works and drives, sometimes it doesn't. Um, he drives it to Canada on a regular basis and it just doesn't, it's not doing what it used to do. Uh, I originally suspected something to do with fuel filter, fuel pump because of the spitting and sputtering. I don't see a fuel port on it, so I can't really check the fuel pressure. Uh, but I haven't really checked the codes either, so I broke out the, the code reader to see what's going on. Camshaft position sensor. Oh, well, there's only one on the 4.2. And crank position or camshaft position input signal to PCM concerns. So it's either unplugged or it's not reading correctly. Because that one says camshaft and that one says either camshaft or crankshaft. I'm putting money on camshaft. So I'll just replace the camshaft position sensor or the synchronizer if it's that bad. So on the camshaft position sensor on the Fords, it's a little hard to get to. Basically all this stuff has come out of the way. And way down there, under the exhaust, or should it be circulatory? Let's see if I can see the cap. Yeah, right there it is. There's the cap for it, way down there. So I gotta dig all this stuff that's up here off first, just to get to it. I'm not gonna film that. So it took me about 10 minutes to get it um, out where I can actually have access to it now. With the, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's it, right? The light, I can't tell you. That right there, that's what you're looking for. Just two little screws on top and a plug-in. There it is. So it's directly underneath the gas. <laughs> Recirculatory valve that I took an inch and an eighth. It might have been only an inch, but I took an inch and an eighth. Take it off. Ten millimeter for the two bolts to go into the side. And uh, yeah, popped right off. Now get that off and replace it with that. So here's hoping. So I pulled it off. And it really doesn't look that bad. I'm not saying a sensor is not bad, but the lines here are really corroded. As compared to brand new, looks good there. Has a cap over the top of it for safety. I don't know what the hell a cap's for, but I'm gonna put it back down on and fire it back up, see what happens. Alright, so we got it back together, and I still got to clear the code that was running. Here's the old one. So once we clear the code, start it back up. <clears throat> so... Alright, codes have been cleared. Oh, that's a hard code remaining. Okay, so. Sounds good. Let me close everything up and go for a test drive.
unfortunately, I did not test drive it beforehand. I just put it on the trailer to bring it over to the shop. So, I'll drive it up a half a mile and call it good. I don't feel no spit, I don't feel no sputter. This old gentleman has been taken advantage of by a different mechanic or a different business. Uh, they told him everything that could be wrong with it and the guy just said, just fix it, just fix it, just fix it. And they said they put a catalytic converter on it for $1,500. They talked them into replacing a whole bunch of stuff that probably didn't need to be replaced. And uh, the guy just got tired of dealing with that company because they couldn't fix it. And I don't see why they couldn't fix it because it was a simple code that just said cam position sensor. So as of right now, I think I'll call the guy up and tell him his truck is done. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. I have about 45 minutes of time on this, maybe an hour. So, whopping $30 in labor. The part was 70, so he's out the door at 100 bucks, and he's already stuck, according to him, he's already stuck 3,400 in it, trying to get this issue fixed. So, all right, that's gonna be the end of this video.